Hey folks, Review and McReview Face here, and today we're going to take this pile of stuff and a four channel Wi Fi switch and turn it into a light up sign. Check it out. All right, so here's the big pile of stuff. I was gonna go through this step-by-step, step, naming all the items, but I mean, you can see what's here, right? We got some electrical cord, we got glue, we got 3M tabs, we've got uh, yeah, more 3M tabs, we've got all kinds of different supplies we're gonna use basically to take this Sonoff four-channel Wi-Fi switch and turn it into something useful. Now, these switches are great for turning a dumb item into your home into a smart item, and I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how that works today by taking all this stuff and making a light up sign that I can command using my Google Home and Wi-Fi. So here we're just going through all the different items. Here's the uh, the actual four channel Wi-Fi switch here. We're going to crack that open in a second and we're going to shove all of that into this picture frame shadow box type of thing with a foam cover over the top so that we can customize exactly what this sign says. So uh, let's get started shall we? All right, so here we have the Sonoff four-channel Wi-Fi box. Got it off Amazon for about 25 bucks. Really not much to opening this thing up. This is not an unboxing wonder here, really. That's it. Boom, there's the switch. What we're going to do is we're going to hook that into some of these leg bars from Ikea. These were about 10 bucks each. Just a nice, flat, disc-style LED light. Uh, it does come with a power brick, though. So one of the challenges here is I have to uh, figure out a way to wire a power brick to the Sonoff because as you can see, there's really no place to just plug that in. So, had to be a little creative. So that involves getting some of this extension cord here. This is just a cheap $2 extension cord from the dollar store. And what we're gonna do is uh, just chop it up and use it as needed. So grab our uh, plier cutters here and just gonna snip the head off of that because don't need that. See you later, out of here you go. And I'm uh, just gonna splice that wire down and feed it into the Sonoff. So this is our power in. So I'm just gonna strip those wires so we can put them in. Really easy, all you have to do with the Sonoff is just press down on the little button, feed the wire in, release the button, and it goes in nice and smooth. Just making sure you're putting your neutrals and your neutral and your line and your line. If you don't know which one's which, look it up before you plug this in so you don't fry yourself or pop a circuit or something. So there you go, push the button, feed the wire, let it go, bada boom. Bob's your uncle, you're done. Real simple. And as you can see, it lights up real nice. So let's take this out of the way. Now that we've got that basic wiring figured out, pop open our shadow box here. Now that back of the shadow box is what I'm gonna glue all of the stuff to so that it sits nice and doesn't rattle around inside of the frame. All right, so what we're doing here, just wrapping the wire around the prongs because I didn't want to take apart these little boxes. I figured those power bricks taking them apart, bad idea. Here, just chopping up the wires for the lights, getting rid of the switch part in the middle. Don't need that. So just uh, splice those two wires together. So we've got a nice short wire, goes from right from the power brick, right to the LED, no switch required. And as we got those all taped up and safely isolated, we've got everything plugged in, we'll test it out. Light one, light two, there we go. Light three, all three buttons working. So next, take out the handy dandy hot glue gun and we're just going to glue everything down to that backboard. So just lay down a bead of glue, pop the sawn off board onto the back there, and then just laying out where each of those power bricks go, glue those in as well. And then once that's done, you're just gonna tape up all the excess wire and take some of those 3M tabs, because I didn't really feel like gluing the back of the light, didn't know how that well that would work. So three M tabs on the back and just stick those where they need to go in the three different positions on the back of the board. One of them right over top of the power bricks, but that's okay because three M makes it so it can stick anywhere. There we go. There's our three lights laid out, all working one, two, and three. Now those buttons are not gonna be available once we put it into the shadow box, but that's all right because uh, it's gonna work by Wi-Fi. Now getting the wire through, this has a handy little slide out panel so we can just kind of notch that out so that we can feed the wire through from the inside to the outside and we'll have a nice clean frame look without wires jetting out of the back in a weird looking way. 
So that's all set, nice and easy. We've got everything ready here. So all I need to do is set up some dividers between the lights so the light doesn't leak through into the other sections. So we'll just lay down a bead of hot glue here and then put those pieces of foam into place. And uh, using the foam, because it's got a bit of flexibility, so it should have a nice seal against the wood and the glass and make sure that none of that light leaks through. Got it good. All right, and then next, just installing the app. There's a link that comes with the Sonoff so you'll know which app to install. Get that all set up. One of the things to take note of when you're installing the app and setting everything up, make sure your Wi-Fi is set to 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, if it's set to five gigahertz, you won't be able to set things up. So it's all set up, on off over Wi-Fi. It's working great. Now we're just gonna feed the plug in through that little notch we made in the frame, flip it all over, place it into the box, secure it all in place with those little twisty things that I don't know if they actually are gonna stay or not, time will tell. Slide that bottle panel into place and flip it over and the all of the electronic parts of the side are completed. So next what we're gonna do is place some gray foam over the top here and cut that out into the shape of each of the sign bits that we want to illuminate. So first one we're going to do is Uber uh, because we have a lot of times where the Uber will come to our house but doesn't know which one to stop at so this will light up in the window let them know which place to stop and a little bit of tissue paper underneath there helps to diffuse that light. So once we've got Uber cut out then next is the skip the dishes sign and the drizzly sign and once those are all cut out boom test it out and skip sign works and turns off. Just that simple. Drizzly turns on and off just as quick. And Uber, of course, has that nice white glow. So that way any of these deliveries come into my house, they're gonna know which house to stop at. So next step, of course, is to install that up in the window. Got some 3M tabs. Just gonna put those onto the frame and then onto the window. So nice and easy to take this down should I need to switch out the frames or clean the windows or anything like that. So definitely not permanent and light it up from the outside and nice and visible especially at night this really pops at night during the day it's visible but at night it really glows and you can see it all the way down the street so when that uber comes hey bowie the uber's here the uber will know where to come to in fact here is a skip driver coming up to test it out how's it going <laughs> Like that. I just made it actually. Oh, that's awesome. I'm just trying to make it easier for people to find the place. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. That is my Sonos 4 channel Wi Fi switch project, turning it into my very own Uber slash skip the dishes slash drizzly delivery notification sign but there is no end of projects that you can do with a wi-fi switch like that and you can really make your home as smart as you want it to be and as custom as you want it to be now again one thing to keep in mind with this product is make sure that you do have the dual band wi-fi available at your home it does run on the 2.4 gigahertz other than that it works really well very responsive to the google home infrastructure that i have in place in my house so i'm really happy with it um, and i may uh, pick up a few more of these in the future to do some other projects around the house and just make it a very smart home in my own personal way. But hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just making deliveries to my house easier. I'm reviewing McReview Face, and I'll see you next review. Thanks.